Hey everybody, this is Kim, and I am back, and I think this is episode number 23, I'm not sure, um, of the Crafty Nomad podcast. I am so happy to be back, and like I said, I am Kim, I am the Crafty Nomad, because I am all over the place when it comes to my crafting, and boy, can you guys believe that summer is just about over, not officially, but I don't know about you guys, but my son has been in school for a week, so for him, it is officially over uh, as far as as far as being out of school is concerned, uh, but, but by the calendar, I think we have until September 20th, I think, before it's officially over, but it's amazing. I remember, it feels like the beginning of summer was just like about five minutes ago, and we were uh, figuring out what well, we had our plan for my son for the summer. and uh, But it seemed like the whole summer just loomed before us. And now it's back there. It's behind. So anyway, I know I have not been podcasting very much. It's Sorry, it's uh, kind of challenging when everybody's at home because on top of my son being out of school, my husband also, he's in education. So he was off for the entire month of July. and But my life, work life, never changed. I worked every day except for last week when um, my son and I uh, took a trip to uh, Chicago. And um, that was a ton of fun. And um, so that was the only vacation I took. So uh, I think it was just difficult to um, record an episode because everybody was always home um and you guys like you know i say it all the time i don't like to really podcast when everybody's at home because uh it's easy to be a stru- it's easy to get distracted um there's always a risk of a photo bomb or a video bomb and so you know it's just harder so and I uh, like, and when they're at home, I kind of want to spend the time with them as well. So, um, yeah, and staying up late, uh, which is what I was doing before, which I might go back to doing again, um, just really uh, did not work very well for me throughout the summer. Um, I don't really know. I was tired. I would fall asleep. I would have every intention of not falling asleep, and I would fall asleep. So, what can I say? Uh, recording at night did not work out, but uh, I feel like maybe that might be the way to go just to be um, regular. But, you know, I, I kind of noticed uh, when I first started watching podcasts that a lot of podcasters end up taking the summer off. And uh, now I, I understand why it's just difficult between vacations and all of these different things that are going on. It's difficult to have a uh, regular schedule. So, Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's hope, you know, I can do it on a more regular basis because I truly, truly enjoy it. Uh, I basically have gotten out, I think, one episode a month for the past several months. And I sort of want to do two episodes a month if I can pull that off. So I think I can do it. Uh, At any rate, you know, all kinds of things uh, have been happening and sort of interfering. Um, I talked about it before, but I have been really trying to do my Fitbit and do my walking and getting 10,000 steps a day is really a lot of it's you have to make an effort to do it and so it cuts into crafting time recording time and all of that and um I've also been um doing a lot of crafting though the whole time and I'll talk about that uh throughout the podcast so let me get my little notebook here uh, I have a couple notes um uh, So let me just say welcome. Welcome to everybody who has come back uh, to spend some of your time with me here today. I'm going to try and keep it short, but we shall see. A lot of us uh, always try to predict that we're going to have a a short episode, but it ends up being just as long uh, as our normal episodes. So (laughs) I'm not going to promise one way or another. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Um... But I want to say welcome to uh, all returning viewers and for anybody who just found me and this is your first time watching, thank you very much for um, choosing to spend a bit of your time with me as well. I hope you uh, find something you like and uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. 
please uh, subscribe and, you know, share, do whatever you want here. I, well, don't do whatever you want, okay? Uh, but anyway. <laughs> Speaking of, I had a negative comment. Uh, never get negative comments, at which because our crafting community is so incredible. But some random person just for some weird, you know, comment didn't make any sense. Um, total troll. So I just deleted it and blocked it and moved on. But you know, it's just amazing uh, what people will do just to do it. Um, but. Anyway, the crafting community is so incredible. Uh, the one that you guys have been so great. Uh, I have had nothing but uh, good feelings about um, my time here on the internet with you guys, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, but to find me anywhere else, I am on Ravelry as Pettis Kim Knits. That is P E T T I S K I M K N I T S. Please follow me over there, friend me, add me to your friend, uh, friends list. And also, uh, we have the Crafty Nomad podcast group where we do a monthly giveaway for finished objects. I do have a thread right now for um, August finished objects. So go over there and post your pictures. And I'm going to put up a new thread, which I'll talk about. Hopefully, I won't forget. Well, let me talk about it now because I'm probably going to forget. I'm not good at saying I'll talk about that later <laughs> because I never end up talking about it later. So let me just say, I have an idea that I want to put a thread up, and I will put a thread up for um, my, uh, uh, it's going to be called, I think it's going to be called Ebony Pearl in the Wild. And what that will be is that just any random pictures you can post with your project where you use the project bag that you purchased from me. And just I just want to see them. I love saying uh, when people post pictures on Instagram and I can see my little project bag um, in, in the background. So uh, I would love that. I'm going to put up a thread for that later in the Crafty Nomad podcast group. But please go ahead and join me over there. And, um, and yeah, join the group and just post away. We just recently closed out three incredible giveaways. And, um, oh, let me just, before I go through that, I will say that my Etsy shop is called Ebony Pearl. That's E-B-O-N-I-E-P-E-A-R-L, named after my two most favorite people in the world, I should say my f most favorite females in the world, my grandmother and my niece. And um, so please uh, go on over there. If you see things you like, give me give me some hearts over there too. It really does help when people like um, the things that we post for sale in Etsy. It helps us apparently. What they tell me is it helps us come up higher in the search when people search for different products. So go on over there, even if you don't buy anything, which I would love for you to buy anything. If you see something you love, buy it. But um, even if you don't, if you're not in a market for a project bag, uh, go ahead and give me some hearts because it really does help. So uh, thanks a lot for that. Um, in, in my shop, uh, I sell, like I just mentioned, project bags, but I also have uh, crochet earrings and I have other crochet accessories. So uh, <clears throat> sometimes hats, I am planning, thinking, we'll see, but I'm thinking of starting to do a couple of uh, baby cocoons and that kind of thing and also um, some mermaid tail uh, afghans. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if I can actually pull that off, but that's what's going on in the old noggin. So let's uh, see how that goes. So, um, let's move on today. All I'm going to talk about today are whips. I have no finished objects, uh, okay, other than my sewing, which you can go on my, my Etsy store and see the things I've been making because most of it is for sale over there. Um, uh, most of my finished things, um, all of my finished things, but I'm going to talk about whips. I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be focusing on for the rest of the summer into the end of September, and I am going to um, talk about a little bit about some stash, and I'm just going to highlight my winners of the last three giveaways that I did just close out. Um, if you follow me, you already probably have seen I put up a really short 
slideshow video announcing the people who won the three giveaways that were still open on my on my um, podcast group. I had a 300 member giveaway, um, which I'm well over 300 subscribers now on um, YouTube. I want to get I want that to continue to grow. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, <clears throat> I had a July finished object thread, and then I had finally um, the drawing for the. Um, 100 Days of Whips project, which you guys followed me through, and I got a lot done. I still got a lot more to get done, um, but uh, that $25 gift card has been won by someone, and I believe they probably have it by now, so I'll just mention those people's names, and then I think that'll be it uh, for today, so let me get started with my whips, okay? So, again, I've been sewing a lot and not doing a ton of my needlework. So um, one of my finished objects is, or I'm sorry, one of my works in progress is my bear. Um, that uh, it is the crochet teddy bear. I have made quite a few of these. The last one I made, I gave uh, as a baby gift in a shower and the mom truly truly loved it it was a complete hit and this one actually is going to be for my son uh because he saw me making that one and he wanted to make it and he wanted me to he wanted to have one and i better hurry up and get it done because man he's a big old seven year old now and um pretty soon he's not going to even want this stuff so <laughs> i'm trying to get it done um so this is the crochet teddy bear uh youtube tutorial by uh the designer's name is Sharon Ohala. You can find the printed directions on amigurumi2go.com. And she has a ton, a ton of free um, uh, tutorials and uh, patterns on that site if you'd like to make toys. Uh, so let me show you. It's funny. I think I printed this in 2014 and I still have this printout. Anyway, that's the teddy bear. I printed it in black and white. I have made, I think, uh, four of these. I think this is the fifth one. And what I did was uh, I changed the yarn so I could change the size. So this one, um, this is a little, I got to shape them up a little bit, but this is the body. And I think I, I talked to you guys about this before. What's so unique about it is that you do the head and the body in one piece. So less sewing. You see what I'm saying? So I got the body done. And I think maybe I may have had that done already. And then um, I think I have, I don't know how many ears I have. Because I think I told you guys before, I never get two ears right. So I ended up making three. So look at that, three. Three ears, I think these two might be be uh right so that's where i'm at i have to and i'm using on this this time so the first time i made it in worsted cotton the first two times worsted cotton uh the second time i made it in a bulky acrylic it was a uh deborah norville yarn and it was ended up being kind of self-striping and then this one is loops and threads country loom which i believe is a super bulky Let's see. Yeah, super bulky number six because I wanted it to be pretty substantial. I'm making this in the color, colorway weathered rock. And so I figured it would be substantial enough for my son. And um, I just got to get that head shaped good. The other thing that's unique about this pattern and is that um, when you put the, usually when you make amigurumi, you put the eyes on and put the safety eyes on, put the safety back on and then stuff it. And the first time I made this, I thought I had made a huge mistake. I followed the directions and I looked up and the whole head and body was made just like it is now with no eyes and it was stuffed. And I'm like, what in the world? But what she does that's different is she actually uses um, a glue and to just, you put glue on the safety eyes and you push them in and you use like a fabric glue. And I think I used a fabric glue in combination with a little bit of E6000, I think. And push them in. <clears throat> and honestly, they do not come out. So it's, it's actually a pretty good idea. I was also worried that glue would push out and be on the yarn. And it did push out, but 
it absorbs some kind of way. You can on the ones that I have made, I cannot see that glue. So it, it's pretty unique. So uh, as far as all the amigurumi women that I have made, um, it's the only pattern that that was like that. So that is a teddy bear. That's where he's at. The other thing that I'm working on, I'm working on a lot of things. I'm only going to show you guys four whips that I'm going to talk about. Once again, <laughs> a finishing up project that I'm going to try to do. Uh, I've been working on these socks for quite some time. I just got off track and I lost the ball band, but this is Patton's Croy and God, I think it's called Garden Stripes. And I am, I'm doing, um, just, uh, I did a cuff down sock with the afterthought heel, which the afterthought heel is going to go, I don't know if you can see that little dark line right there, but that's where the afterthought heel is going to go. So I'm pretty much almost ready to start decreasing for the toe on this one. And I got the little dress stitch marker on there. I'm making this on my 9 inch circular needles, which is my preferred way to make socks. Um, so glad I figured out, found out that, that people make socks this way because it makes the most sense to me and it's the easiest for me to handle. It was hard to get used to it initially, but now my I got muscle memory now, so it does not. I used to be cramped up at first when I was doing it, but not anymore. Uh, this is in my bag. Um, my little sock size drawstring bag, which uh, I made myself. And, you know, I usually don't make myself things that are light because I'm not good at light. And this thing probably could use a good washing. So <laughs> that's that. And then I am also, okay, so remember, I don't know if I had made this decision. I think I did in the last uh, episode that I did where I was going to make that diamond throw and I lost the magazine, repurchased the magazine and then started doing it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw how wonky, wonky, wonky my diamonds were turning out. And I was just like, A, it doesn't look good. Uh, B, who is going to be sewing all of these things together? It was going to be something like 150 or more diamonds that I was going to have to sew together. And I'm so not good at sewing things together. So, and, 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 um, weaving in is drives me a little nuts too. So I try to avoid it. So I decided, did I bring it over here? Yes. I decided to go ahead and do a mile a minute, uh, Afghan. And I found, because I knew I had one, I searched through all of my, I got stuff everywhere. And I have tons of uh, crochet pattern books and knitting pattern books that I bought years and years ago. Mostly a ton of crochet pattern books. Um, and um, I found it. I found, it's a beginner's guide. And it's going to be backwards, but it's a beginner's guide to a mile a minute uh, Afghan. And I'm actually making this one that's on the front. The thing that I'm going to do different is uh, because I had all that yarn and the diamond throw called for six different colors plus white. So seven different colors. So mine is going to be a little more colorful. <laughs> so I started out with the green. And this is all red heart yarn. And one of these is a uh, green tea or something like that. And then one of them is dark something. Anyway, there you go. There you go. So that's one strip. I have two of these strips made. Oh, all down in this big bag. And I got it in my, let me just mark, pick it up. My Jimungus bag, which is really exactly the same as the sock bag. I just used pretty much a full yard of fabric and followed the tutorial and made and made um this bag so there's two strips that i have made so it's gonna be a total of 15 of these that i'm gonna make i'm planning to do five in this color in these colors so i got two made right and then i got to the third one and I think it's the third one. Wait, I got three made? Okay, did I get three made or two? No, I got two made. 
two full ones made. Sorry. So this is the two full ones made. And I'm on the third one in the green. And can you see what happened? If you follow me on Instagram, you saw this already. Um, I lost at Yarn Chicken. Completely ran out of this dark green. So I had to order. And so I went ahead and I ordered um, another one of each dark color because it's not going to be the, what I had was not enough in uh, to make five strips, and I need to make five in each colorway. And then I'm just going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three until I have all fifteen of them, and it's going to be nice and colorful. And this is going to be a gift for uh, uh, probably a Christmas gift for my mom because that was my initial um, plan. Uh, was either get it done for her 75th birthday, which is in October. Probably not gonna happen. So it's gonna be at Christmas. <laughs> so that's that. That's the one colors, one strips, one set of strips. So while I was waiting for this, uh, the other colors to come in, I went ahead and started on this colorway, which is not showing up right at all. This is like, like real teal and some kind of turquoise. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. The next round is going to be white. And then the last round will be the darker color. So I, like I said, I went ahead and ordered another ball. This is Red Heart Super Saver of each one of these. And then the third color way will be the white with these two. And this is Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Dark Orchid and Orchid. So Orchid. And dark orchid on this one. The turquoise one is turquoise. And I think real teal or dark teal. Real teal. And then the green. What is the green, y'all? The greens are. I'm going to throw these back in the bag. The greens are medium time and tea leaf. So the light green colorway is, I'm going to pull it back out, is tea leaf. And it's backwards anyway, I don't know why I'm showing it. And then medium time is the dark. So I ordered a dark orchid, a real teal, and a medium time. And that way I'll have enough to get uh, the whole thing done. So that's that. And then this one, last uh, the last uh, whip I'm gonna show is my um, it says again another bag made by me, one of the first bags that I made for myself, my first my first zipper pouch anyway, and I'm making them differently. Like these that I'm showing you all are uh, they have a layer of felt in them. But I'm now in my bags in my shop. For the most part, they all have uh, interfacing. So um, anyway, I am making a Yowza. This and this one is a Yowza Wet Four, which is very very simple and a pay for pattern. I will say it's very very similar to the Linus Shawl. Um, pretty almost similar, except that at the end you do some different things. So. Um, I, I'm sure, depending on what you're into, you guys have absolutely heard of this new yarn by Karen. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen some of my pictures of it. But Karen, uh, has come out with Karen Cakes. And I decided that I was going to do a worsted shawl. And, um, I decided to do it y'all's away at four. And, um... This one I am doing in the colorway Lemon Lime. So this is part of my stash. So I'm going to roll right into stash after this. So look at this, guys. These things are so awesome. These uh, Karen Cakes yarns are... Uh, so everything that I have shown you other than the socks uh, are acrylic. The Karen Cakes are... Let me see what this thing says. They are a blend of acrylic and um, wool. So they are 80% acrylic, 20% wool, hand-washed, laid flat to dry. 
So, yeah. Uh, I am making a Yowza Weigh It 4. And this, I just started this the other day. And this is the colorway lemon lime. These are on my high, high sharps uh, needles uh, in a size, I believe, 8. So, rolling into my stash, I decided after <laughs> I just, I was on one of my crochet groups on Facebook. Pretty much all I go on Facebook for is to, to catch up and see what uh, people are making in my crafty groups. And, um, so somebody, they, everybody was going crazy about this yarn. I was like, what is this yarn? What is this yarn? And of course I had to find out and I found out that it was in fact Karen Cakes. And um, it's a it's a gradient. So, or maybe like silk striping is probably a better uh, way to say it. But there's a really long repeat. Like it's going to be forever before I get to the next color. Um, on on that one that I'm working on. And when I bought it in this worsted weight, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? So I decided that I was going to make some worsted weight shawls and maybe if they come out great, they will end up being Christmas presents for my family. And of course, I'm going to keep one for myself. Probably the most colorful one will be for me. Uh, anyway, so I had got... So this yarn, by the way, is exclusive to Michaels right now. I don't know. I mean, it's what I've read. I, I, from what I can tell, they are the only ones that have it. It's brand new. It just came out, in, I guess, in the last week or two, I think. Um, and um, people are going nuts over it. It's not at everybody's Michaels. We have it and, uh, in California. And it's so funny because uh, I don't think it's like a ton of knitters and crowdies. I don't have a lot of friends that didn't crochet of outside of the groups that I go to. Um, but just my average friend, no one, no one miss a crochets. Um, so I had to go out and make crafty friends. <laughs> and um, some people online are talking about this yarn and they cannot find it. I feel bad for them because there's tons of it in my Michaels. And right now, Michaels, all oh, their entire stock of yarn is buy two, get one free. And they had the nerve. <laughs> To give uh, to put out a coupon, I think it came out yesterday. Oh no, it came out Thursday for twenty five percent off your entire purchase, including sale items. So these these balls of yarn have uh, just under four hundred yards. Let me see. They have three hundred and eighty three yards of worsted weight yarn. And they are $7.99 each. And, you know, some people, well, I, I feel like that's an uber affordable yarn, um, especially compared to some of the natural fibers out there. Um, this is re very affordable. It's really soft. Um, it's going to feel great against the skin. And uh, so they were $7.99. So you buy two of them. What's that? $16. You get the third one for free, and then you get to take 25% off. That coupon is going to expire today. So, of course, I bought my first three and then got the coupon a day or two later and went back and got three more. So I have another one. Oh, shoot. I just dropped one of my other stash. I'm going to try to get it without going completely. I'm trying to stretch. Hopefully, I won't fall. And have to do this video all over again. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I got two and the, the lemon line. So the that that's gonna go along with the the Yowza Way It. The Yowza Way It takes uh this is only 383, so I'm gonna need two, but not full a full two. Maybe, maybe two to complete the the shawl. And then I got two more in the colorway. What's this colorway? Rainbow sprinkles. And this is my favorite one. So whatever I make with this is gonna be my oh so pretty and bright. I love these two. And then I got I actually like all of them. I'm gonna keep them all. Anyway, uh this one is called Jelly Roll. Why are they called Jelly Roll? Interesting colorway choice, but look at that. I just love it. 
I love both of these. So those are those. And then since um, I got to tell you, my Etsy shop has been hopping, <laughs> which is very exciting. It's been very cool to see uh, the business picking up on my Etsy shop. I am so grateful for you guys. I know that uh, some of the people who um, have purchased from me watch my show, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm sorry if you can hear um, my neighbor's kid crying in the background, but what can you do? It's cry. He's only three. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, business has been picking up. So I decided that um, what I'm going to do, I know you can hear him, so I'm sorry, uh, but it just stops shortly. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is treat myself to things that, you know, I, the, I mean, it's not, I'm not making like a ton of money to where I could actually quit a job or anything. I don't think, I, actually, that's not the goal of it. Sorry about that. Um, it's struggling. All right. So, uh, yeah, I know I'm not going to put a job. So what I'm doing is I'm funding my crafty budget with it. And, um, so I have this, sorry, I'm not going to do that. And what I decided to do is I'm going to treat myself every once in a while to a really beautiful, nice yarn. So I have always wanted some gnome acres and it arrived with and I'm I'm just opening this a cute thank you card from them and it says gnome acres is the home of gnome made and nerd flavored hand dyed yarns wood buttons knitting spinning notions gnome tastical swag and attire gnomeacres.com and uh this is all backwards but maybe you can read all of that and <laughs> and then so this showed up and they put this little sticker on there and it says did you did you know gnomes use knitting needles as chopsticks <laughs> i guess it's a gnome fact and i think this is just my little invoice and it's so cute how they folded it and put that on there so I got a one skein uh, in their um, house gnome base, which I believe is 80 or 75, hold on, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And the colorway name, let me get that straight before I show you. Oh, this is so cute. Uh, it's no place like gnome. <laughs> and I wish you could experience this in person, this beauty. You get enough to make a pair of socks. I think it's 460 yards of a fingering weight. And look at that. And you know, of course, this camera's not showing just how vibrant. It's dulling it down. But this is some gorgeousness right here. Uh... I love it. I they're they're coming out with their um, Halloween colorways next Thursday, so I think I'm gonna get at least one more from them. But I'm gonna try different brands each time I, you know, make a little money on my Etsy shop. I'm just gonna treat myself to some beautiful yarns, and uh, hopefully, I will get my hands on a sock blank. Okay, can I just say, uh, Andy of Andre Sue Knits. This woman makes the best, the most incredible, uh, I don't even know how she does it, these sock blanks that she paints, amazing, 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 and I cannot get myself together to log on in enough time to grab one every single solitary time I remember, uh, it's too late, okay? By the time I go in there, people have snatched it up and there's nothing left. Uh, I think she has a giveaway, but I think it's closing today, so I should have entered that so that I could have half a chance of maybe winning one, because seriously, trying to buy one is killing me, but you got to go over and check them out. Uh, she's amazing. Follow her on Instagram. You can see all of the stuff that she does. She is so talented, and I absolutely will get my hands on one of those one day. It's going to be one of my treats to myself. I also want to treat myself to... Um, 
uh, Miss Babs, y'all's a one of the Gotta get one. Um, at least. I think I want so many papers. Anyway, but look at this. Can you see that? Born on date. So this was made on June 15th. June 15th this year. I love that they put that on there. Anyway, I love that yarn and I can't wait to at least purchase one more from them and get some of my other little treats that I have for myself that I wanted to get for myself. So I think that is it for my stash that I'm going to show. I have a ton of fabric, but we're not going to go through all that. You will see them when they are turned into bags on my um, Etsy shop. I'm not, last time I... um. Last time I podcast, I did go through all the bags that I had made because I had made a ton. And um, but uh, I have at least one made and two halfway made that are sitting right here. But I'm gonna show those right now. They will get listed in the next couple of days, and you will see them in my Etsy store. And I will post a picture on Instagram once I actually list them in my Etsy shop. Um, again, I want to say thank you for everybody who supported me and just really took a chance on me. I, I'm really grateful for that. And I'm having fun with the Etsy shop. It's exactly what I wanted it to be as, as things start to roll. I'm, I'm just enjoy it. So uh, thanks again for all of that. I wanted to say that. So what am I going to focus on? Well, during the 100 Days of Whips pro project, I really did get a lot of things done. Um, but I also started new things. <laughs> So, of course, I have a ton of things that um, I need to get done. So, in addition to the things that I just showed you, the other things that I want to try and focus on getting done is my bonbon bunny, which is practically done. Um, my Tunisian shawl, which honestly, probably an hour's worth of work. I just put it down and stopped. And then my line of shawl. So those three things plus the four things I showed you, those are the things that I really want to focus on through the next six to eight weeks and hopefully get quite a bit of that done. Uh, and we'll be sharing hopefully that with you the next time. Hopefully the next time my goal is to have at least one finished object the next time I come back here. And I hope to come back in two weeks. That's my plan. Uh, so wish me luck. Uh, okay. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about is how much fun it was to to draw for my um, <clears throat> my giveaways and finally get those closed. So everybody who won already knows that they won. They already have contacted me. And uh, so now it's up to me. There's a couple that I need to mail out. And then one of them, uh, someone else was dealing with, um, which I will talk about in a second here. So the winner... Of my, I don't even know now. I should I should have looked it up, but I think Diana Pierce won one of them. She's getting a project bag. She either won the 300 member giveaway or the July FO, which I already there's a video that shows exactly what each person won. Um, but she gets a project bag with a little matching notions pouch, and then Lady Fernico, my Marlisha of the pin hooks. No, the Pen Hook and Needles podcast. Uh, Marlisha won um, my, um, oh man, there was something I wanted to show you guys, and I'm going to end up having to show you on my next podcast, because, hold on, I don't think I can get to what I want to show you. <sighs> I really want to show you. I can't believe this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, I'm not going to get to it. Okay, I'll show you next time. Um, Marlisha won two skeins of uh, Bally uh, Sock Yarn. And it is a superwash nylon blend and uh, enough to make a pair of socks. And she won the yarn bowl, which I'm um, happy for her for that. And then Wendy, whose rivalry name right now I cannot remember, but she won the fantastic 100 Days of Whips uh, project giveaway, which was a $25 gift card to the from the place of her choice. That giveaway was sponsored by um, Mars from the Brownberry Chronicles podcast, who... Uh, 
really spurred me on by initiating this uh, giveaway and sponsoring the giveaway. She already, she gave me my gift card a long time ago, and she also offered up the same gift card uh, to one of my uh, subscribers. So Wendy won it. They've already connected, and hopefully she has it and has already purchased whatever it is she's going to purchase with it. I'm really enjoying it. So um, those three giveaways are done. I just have to mail out the things that I need to mail out. And um, otherwise, the, the only thing right now that we have a giveaway for is the August finished object thread. So go on over there, subscribe to my group there and the Crafty Nomad podcast group and start posting your finished objects and do a different post for each object so you can get an entry for every object that you finish. Don't put them all in one. Put them uh, a different one for each one uh, so you can have more chances to win. And guess what? I believe that I started podcasting in um, August of 2015. So I believe that if I have not already had a one-year anniversary, it is coming up in the next few minutes or a few days. <laughs> so I will be putting up another giveaway for that. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I want it to be something spectacular. So I have got to uh, figure that out for you guys and go ahead and get that one going. So I will probably announce more details on that when I come back in my next podcast. At this point, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for joining me for this. Thank you for your support. Thank you for spending your time with me. Um, I am always grateful for all the wonderful friendships, uh, though they be cyber friendships, <laughs> and so far. Um, that I have, the, the connections that I have made here on um, on um, YouTube and on Instagram and on um, Ravelry. I'm so grateful for all of you guys and all your support and all the things that we get to do together as we interact and keep our craftiness alive together and passing it on to others. And at any rate, thank you so much. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and a great week ahead. In the meantime, keep it crafty.